Hi friends, today I'm going to draw for you the life cycle of a typical member of the Zygomycota. These are sometimes referred to as the zygote fungi, but actually to mycologists we call them zygomycetes or yolk fungi. Uh, because of the shape of the uh, zygosporangium, which is the sexual stage of this fungus. So, zygomycetes are cenocytic, which means their hyphae don't have regular walls between the nuclei. So we can other, another way of saying that is that they are a septate. So no no septa or cross walls between nuclei. Okay, so if we were to draw a mycelium of a zygomycete we made up of lots and lots of these aseptate hyphae with nuclei in them. And then every now and then, uh, when there are enough resources around, a zygomycete may produce a conidiophore, which is a structure that bears conidia. And conidia are spores produced asexually or produced by mitosis. So they're asexual spores. And because these are fungi, all of these nuclei in here are haploid. And the organism is haploid throughout most of its life. All right, but suppose uh, we want to have the sexual as part of the life cycle. Well, how does that happen? You get two hyphae that are of different mating types. And they look the same. They don't look like male and female, so we just call them plus and minus to indicate that they're not really male, they're not really female, they're just compatible mating types. So two of these hyphae may grow close to each other, and they're going to produce a structure between them. It's called a zygosporangium. Okay, so this is going to be uh, the plasmogamy part. And inside of that zygosporangium, you're going to have karyogamy. Remember, plasmogamy and karyogamy are the two parts of fertilization or syngamy that often have a temporal delay in fungi. So they don't just ram their cells into each other and have fertilization achieved. That way they may have a little bit of a pause between plasmogamy and karyogamy. So within the zygosporangium we produce that single diploid nucleus, the zygote, in this case, the zygote is called a zygospore. That will undergo meiosis to restore haploid condition. Okay, so let's go down here. Let's see what happens next. Uh, the, zygospor the zygospore 
after it undergoes meiosis within the zygosporangium may produce a new conidiophore that's going to produce conidia and those conidia are going to grow into new hyphae. Alright, so that's your basic life cycle of a zygomycete.